Hey everybody! Welcome to How-To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to focus on the resources that you're going to need to get started with your new graduate course, MM570, Statistics for Psychology. In this course, you're going to need two basic items to get you started. The first one is the textbook for the course. It's called Statistics for Psychology, 5th edition. And you're going to get this from the student bookstore. The second item that you're going to need for your course is SPSS. SPSS is a statistical program for social sciences. It's an application created by IBM, and we're going to use SPSS to do all of our statistical analysis throughout the entire course. In fact, we're going to be using SPSS even for the Unit 1 discussion assignment which means that you're going to really need to have SPSS on your computer and up and running before the first day of class. And that's what this video is going to help you do. All right, now that you know you need the textbook and you need SPSS, another interesting piece of information is that there are two choices that you have in order to purchase SPSS. And we're going to see both of those choices and I'm going to walk you through the process. You can choose either option, and I'm going to explain the difference. So let's take a look at our classroom area. When you log into class, you're going to see all of your information here, like your upcoming classes and your current classes and so on. And you also can see the home button and all kinds of other options up above. If you go to the community center option, you'll see that one of your choices is called the student store. And this is where you can purchase your textbooks and also buy SPSS. Let's click on that now. Once I click on the student store, it opens up my student store page. And there's actually two different areas here that I want to show you. The first area is called the E Academy on the Hub. This area is really wonderful because it's a location that's going to allow you, if you choose to, to download SPSS directly onto your computer or laptop without having to buy the CD or wait for it to come in the mail or anything like that. This is a cheaper option. However, the option also does not allow you to use any vouchers or student aid. So if you use this option to purchase SPSS, and I'm going to click this in a moment and walk you through this option and what it looks like, then you'll be able to download SPSS onto your computer right away. It's a cheaper option. It's a six-month rental, and so it'll be more than enough time to complete the course. But again, you will not be able to use student aid or a voucher for this. All right, let's see what this option looks like. Again, we got here by choosing Community Center and then Student Store. Once we click this option, We're brought to a new page that says, hey, do you have Microsoft Office for a PC or a Mac? For our particular class, MM570, you do actually also need to have Microsoft Office on your computer. If you don't, and as a side note, this is a great way to get it. If you have a Mac, this is the one you want to choose. If you have a PC, you want to choose this option. But we're really interested in SPSS today, and that's what our video is focusing on. How do you get SPSS onto your computer and up and running? Well, your first step going through this process is to choose the IBM SPSS link here kind of in the upper area. So let's click on that. Once you choose that, all of a sudden you see all these options, but you only care about this first choice called IBM SPSS Statistics 20. Let's click on that as well. Once I choose this option, the next important selection that you need to make is do you have a Windows computer or do you have a Macintosh computer? If you have a Windows computer, my recommendation, although the choice is yours, is to scroll down until you see the six-month rental option. These two above are actually 12-month rentals. That's why they're more expensive. For most of our students, we're going to need a six-month rental, which is a lot cheaper, and is going to be more than enough to get us through our course. This is called the IBM SPSS Statistics Standard Grad Pack 20 for Windows 6-Month Rental. 
If you're ready to go, all you would do is click this link and then continue through the rest of the process. You may have to give your Kaplan email address. You may be asked for further information and how you plan to pay, like through a credit card or so on. But from here, the system will walk you through purchasing SPSS, and in the end, you're actually going to download this directly onto your computer. You will not have to wait for a CD to arrive or anything like that. So it's a fast and immediate option for getting SPSS. And it's also the least expensive option that we offer. Now similarly, if you have a Macintosh computer, you would first choose Mac. That's really important. And then again, you would look down until you find the six-month rental for the IBM SPSS Statistics Standard Grad Pack 20. It's the same price. And of course, you'd go through the same process. Click here and then follow along, just like when you're buying anything online. Make sure that you give all the information that's asked. If you are asked for an email address, use your Kaplan email address, and so on. So this is your first option for getting SPSS onto your computer, whether you have a Windows or a Macintosh. This is a six-month rental. It's fast. It's the cheapest option. And you can get it immediately. Now, what if you would prefer to use your financial aid or your voucher to get your textbook and SPSS at the same time? Because notice this option only gets you SPSS. And again, it does not permit you to use any financial aid methods. So let's see what option number two is, just in case you prefer a different choice. Going back to where we were on our Kaplan site at our student store, remember doing the right away option was what we chose when we clicked eAcademy on the hub. However, the second choice is by choosing books. And what's nice about this second option as well is this is the same choice that you're going to select when you buy your textbook. So everyone eventually will have to come here anyway, click on books, and buy the textbook for the course. So let's see what we find when we click on books. And most of you are used to this method. When you click on books, you have to first tell SPSS, OK, I want to order stuff. I want to order my books. So let's just choose that option as well. And then it wants to know, how do you plan to pay for this order? Do you want to use financial aid? Do you want to use your voucher? Or do you want to pay with a credit card? Notice that when you click on books, you get the option of using financial aid or voucher. But the other first option I showed you, again, does not give you this option. All right, now I'm just going to choose the credit card option. But of course, you're going to choose the one that's best for you. And then it takes you to the next page where it's going to ask you some questions to try to figure out what materials it is you're looking for. The first thing you want to tell it is what term you're in. The second thing you want to tell it is what is your major. Like suppose your major is getting a Master of Science in Psychology. You can check that box. Checking this box will definitely get you to the right location in the right textbooks. And then you have to type in these words, which I'm not good at, but we're going to try to get this right. Let's see, O and A. This one is not as hard as some of them are. OK, and let's hope I did that right. We'll click Continue. Good, excellent. So now it gives me all the possible classes that might occur in my major. And I want to find the one that I'm interested in. And that's MM570. So I'm going to check this box, click Continue. And then it shows me, OK, for that class, you definitely need your textbook. That's required. It's the fifth edition, just like we saw. Here's the used price. And you can certainly select this option. Everybody in the class has to buy the textbook. So everyone's going to have to go through this method, and they're going to have to at least purchase this textbook. However, this also gives you the option to buy SPSS in the form of a physical CD that will come along with your textbook for $86.36. Notice that the CD is a bit more expensive than the six-month rental. Also, consider that if you choose this option, you will be able to use financial aid, but you'll have to wait for the CD to come in the mail. Once the CD comes, you'll have to place it in your computer CD drive, You'll have to install it onto your computer from the CD successfully. 
and then move forward. Now there are some cases where students do not have CD drives or DVD drives. And this is something that you really want to think about. If you're using a netbook, for example, or a newer laptop, you may not have a CD drive. So you would definitely want to choose the other option that just allows you to download SPSS right from the internet. So again, we're seeing two different options for getting SPSS. In this case, you can get SPSS as a physical CD along with your textbook. Remember, the textbook's required for everyone. If you choose to purchase both of these items, you would simply add them to your cart and move forward with the rest of the process. If you don't want to purchase SPSS using this method, you would choose not to purchase it, just purchase your textbook, and then you would go back to where we were to begin with, let's go back there, to purchase your actual SPSS as a download version. So let's review. Let me go ahead and back up here too. Let me see if it'll let me back up. Oh good. So once you come, oops, backed up too far. There we go. Once you log into Kaplan, you go right to the Community Center link right at the top and you choose Student Store. From the Student Store, you're going to have two options for buying SPSS. The first option is by clicking on the hub. This option is cheaper and allows you to download SPSS right away from the internet. You can use this for a Macintosh computer or for a PC. If you have a Mac, you may want to choose this option. Some students over the years have told me that the CD does not work well for them when they have a Macintosh computer. So again, this automatic download from the internet is often the best choice for people with Macintosh computers and for people who don't have CD drives on their computers and also for people who just want to get SPSS right away and start learning how to use it before the class starts, which is really a good idea. This is also the cheapest option. So if you're able to use this option, I recommend it. If not, this is certainly an excellent option as well. If you do choose to order the CD with your textbook, please do so immediately. Do this today. Don't wait until the class starts or don't wait till the day before the class because as you know, these books and discs take a while to get shipped to your house. And then you'll have to go through the process of installing the CD and getting SPSS up and running. But we will use SPSS on the very first day of class, and your assignment will be due on Sunday of the first week of class using SPSS. So your goal for MM570 is to get SPSS onto your computer and up and running as soon as you possibly can. You've got two choices, and whichever one you're going to choose, Make that choice as soon as you can and get that information either sent to you or get it downloaded. Do it today. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.